Hello, um, today I am reviewing this uh, Yame Semi Dori from Mayleaf. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't even remember buying this one. So I looked it up and I got it like back in September. And um, I haven't opened it since. Mm, let me just try to, yeah, like that. It's not reflective. So um, this video is going to involve a little bit of jump around and um, and a little bit of cutting as well because it says the infusion that it needs is 60 seconds and every infusion you have to increase that number by 20 seconds and you can only infuse it uh, four times if you do Gong Fu um, pretty much it's, uh, it's a shade grown uh, Sencha and um, yeah, I believe when I wanted to um, buy this, I just wanted to replace uh, the Yakuro with something. Um, experiment um, more with the green teas, because um, the Yakuro was out of, out of stock as well. And um, yeah, so pretty much I ended up with this. I have another one as well, but I completely forgot about this one. Um, so it's sitting in my cupboard for half a year now and um, it is really hard to open it what there you go so it will be involved a little bit of editing because obviously I'm not going to let you watch me sitting here waiting 60 80 100 120 seconds so I will cut those bits out uh, possibly now I have rubbish, let's put it there. So I already have the tin ready for it. Let's see how it looks like. Normally you can see it through the package, see, uh, smell it through the packaging as well. And um, because also on the packaging it says um, it tastes, uh, well, you, you can get a uh, rich daikon broth. I don't know what's that, with sweet corn, so not with anything else but with sweet corn, and um, wild strawberry sweetness, and the most striking one, cannabis spice. I have never came across, never ever, never ever come across with cannabis spice, but smelling it through the packaging, it has a distinctive smell. One might might say it, it reminds you of, of cannabis. And um, that's all I'm going to say on this matter. I'm not going to say anything further on that, but it has a distinctive smell. So I just uh, applied a sticker on my little may leaf tin which this tea is going to live but I'm quite shocked it needs 70 degrees water ah sorry about that it was uh, just uh, some sort of notification anyway so um, yeah, it, it needs 70 degrees water and 60 seconds brewing time. I'm quite shocked about that. 60 seconds. I mean, that's quite a lot. And only if I could take this label off, eh? I normally... There you go. I like to do this before I actually put the tea in because I can get hold of the tin like this and I'm not going to pour the tea everywhere. Right. So anyway the elevation is quite low. 70 meters and the picking is April 2021. So it's two years old. And um, it's a Japanese tea. Which needs Japanese clay. Right. 
Let's open this up quickly. Um, yeah, just on the floor. And I will try to open it here so you can see me pouring it in. Uh, I might need a little bit of help in the form of a knife. Might not. Yeah, I need a knife. Okay. Luckily I have safety knife. Okay, alright. Let's get this open. Okay. God, it has a distinctive smell. And I don't mean the fresh grass, fresh cutlet grass, I don't mean that, no, no. No, no, that's what you did. Oh, where is the oxidizer thingy? Oxygen absorber, there. Let's put some into my little thing here. That should be okay. There are lots of broken leaves in it. I mean tiny tiny broken leaves. Really tiny. And it won't come off from your finger. Mm. Ah. It still won't come off from your finger. Come on now. Yeah, it has long leaves as well. Some of them are quite nice, but most of them are just really, really chopped up. Spice like oregano size. It's just, yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's the visual inspection. Smelling wise. Yeah, it smells better. Now I let it to aerate a bit. Oh, I will need this. Let's warm things up here. A little. I mean, 70 degrees water. It's not even going to do anything on my little teapots here. But at least it will, um, you know, warm up this glass as well. Let's pour this in. It even sticks to the holder, the observing tray thingy. Hmm. Okay. I can already smell it. It is. It is very brothy. Oh, so do you. What else? I mean, it's even more profier than the Jakuro. So I think I quite like that side of it. Yes. You can definitely smell sweet corn. <coughs> That's really nice, actually. Okay, so maybe it doesn't look so appealing, but it gives off um, this uh, lovely sweet corn smell with the broth. So, yeah, that side of the description was quite accurate. Yeah, and as I said, a little bit of, uh, of that cannabis comes through as well. <coughs> Let's see. Okay. Just do a very quick rinse. Normally I don't do rinse with these kind of broken leaves. But just to uh, make it wet. Oh, might as well just pull it over here. 
right now. Okay, there's a few things I have noticed. A, I forgot the filter, and B, even though it's just the rinse, I mean, look at that. And this is just a quick rinse. I don't know if you can see it if I zoom in better. Just look how green it is. This is what I call green tea. But obviously, um, this is just the rinse water, so I'm not going to have any of this. But the tea pads can. That's what they are for. And the tea itself, it's just, um, I try to zoom in again. Because obviously these are just broken bits. They just, um, as usual, with this kind of tea, they just come together in a lump like, uh, like mashed potatoes. And um, but it smells all right. Still giving off that sweet corn. It's just that sweet corn sweetens up and brightens that that brothiness. I really like that. Although I don't like the fact how the tea looks. It's so chopped up. But I like the fact how um, how it smells. So now let's just start up my stopwatch. I can't believe 60 seconds, so probably it will be like 50 now. Um, so as I said, obviously I will um, probably I will cut bits out because I'm not going to show you every single infusion 60 seconds. But um, this one. I will. And on the other hand, it's quite. Yes, four brews, four, four infusions. That's that's what you would pretty much expect if you uh, if you uh, infuse for such a long time. But it also means if you use a slightly hotter water than seventy degrees, um, you can reduce those infusion times. Mm, how will that affect the tea? I'm not really sure. I'm guessing I will find it out because I will experiment with it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so 60 seconds, way over. No filter. Right, so there are some bits coming through, obviously. Every single drop, and then I just make sure it's not just sitting there. How do you smell? Sweet corny, straight in your face with the broth. I would say that the um, original, the first impression, first cannabis kind of in, in, impression, it's it's just pretty much all the way back. Mainly the sweet corn is the dominant smell on this uh, on this day. But just look how green it is. I have to bring it closer. Just look. Green, green. Only if you would focus, eh? Look how green it is. It's this like apple green green. I like it. Right. Let's see if the taste lives up to the smell and the look of the liquor and especially the price. I mean, this wasn't a cheap one. Um, I couldn't remember how much was it, so I looked it up and it was like, what, 18, 18 quid for a packet? So yeah. Mm. I 
I would say it's quite thick on the thick side, most probably because of that uh, long infusion. But um, oh, that sweet corn! So first you get hit with the broth, and as you go through uh, with the tea, you swallow it. Um, then, then the sweet corn just kicks in, and then it leaves a slight little bit of um, minerality, but really, really slight on the side of my tongues after you swallowed it in the in the finish. It's just lingering, lingering there. I really like this. Yeah, it's quite cloudy. There's lots of particles in the tea. But I like it. And mind you, I didn't filter it, so everything is just sitting at the bottom. It's really like, uh, like a soup. It's that kind of full of particles. Then you have pepper and everything in the soup. Homemade soup, homemade broth. I don't think taste-wise I will get anything else out of this. So what I will do, um, I will, um, obviously this is just four infusions. I will go through the infusions and I will let you guys join in in the last uh, infusion and then um, I will give you my final thoughts but um, sweet corn and broth yeah a bit of, of cannabis spice and the in, in the initial smell and at the back on the taste but not much I'm, I'm not really sure what is cannabis spice but that cannabis you know if you have ever ever smelled cannabis you you know what I'm talking about um, so yeah, but I quite like it, and I like the fact that, you know, because I'm talking now again, making this video longer, so people buy green teas in a, in a tea bag, and um, they do their infusion, obviously they do the thing with it, whatever they do, and it's not green, mate. Mine is green. This is green tea. Not what you get from the supermarket in tea bag. Not all of them. I'm pretty sure you can find some. But, you know, the, most of them that sell themselves as green tea, well, they might be green tea bits, but the liquor won't be this green. It won't be profit. And this is what I like about Kung Fu brewing. You have a bunch of leaves, straight there, you have proper liquor out of it. And you can really, really appreciate what tea is about. Right, anyway, stop talking, get on drinking, and see you in the fourth infusion. Okay. Okay, so, fourth infusion. I made the temperature a little bit hotter. How hot? Well, uh, not really sure. Just a little bit over. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I made it quite hot. If the teapot changes color, then I made it quite hot. Uh, so, I will be mindful about the infusion time. I set the timer to um, 1 minute 20 but I might have to stop earlier if it's this hot um, what I noticed though that the caffeine, the, the 
you know, with green teas, you have a little bit of a of, of punch of caffeine and it's building up. With this one, it's not building up as much so as, uh, for example, with the Yakuro or with um, green coil. Um, maybe because I'm, I'm a little bit used to the caffeine now. Um, I drink quite a lot of coffee. And, um, yeah, but it just doesn't make me feel like when when I had um, green tea first time and I was just buzzing. Yes, it makes me a little bit more alert. But, um, not on the high caffeine side. Well, not for me. Um, anyway. So, liquor is fairly foggy, misty, but still green, so it hasn't lost any kind of colour. Let's see if it's still thick. Yeah, I made it a little bit too hot. Mm. It lost um, thickness. Um, I would say now instead of being thick, it's it's just medium, medium thick maybe. Hotter temperature doesn't really suit this tea. So all of those flavor notes um, I was I was tasting pretty much it just. The heat just takes it away, and you will have this astringent, drying, pullingness um, at the edge of your tongue, but at the tip, more on the uh, forward part of your tongue. So what I would say is, is that probably do not experiment with this um, uh, tea regarding temperature-wise. Keep it around 70 degrees. If you do any hotter, then you will lose taste. Yeah, there is quite a strong pulling effect, and the taste is is just um, yeah. Maybe I can pick up a little bit of sweet corn, but not much. So yeah, just use seventy degrees water with this tea. It looks like it's a little bit more delicate than I thought it would be. It certainly doesn't handle well eighty degrees water or. Or even that you wouldn't use anything hotter than that. I might have over gone above and beyond, but um, yeah. So just keep it um, under eighty degrees. That's that's what I would suggest with this tea. Um, overall, I'm quite happy with this. Obviously, it's not the most cost-effective tea. It's it's nice and enjoyable, and it's definitely a different taste to any other tea, even um, other teas that are brothy. As I said, this one has the brothiness, but um, it has a um, sweet corn taste to it, and the liquor is quite um, green. I remember with the Yakuro, it's it's more um, more on the on the bright one, more on the white side. And then it just um, just pretty much becomes transparent at the end of the session. This one doesn't. Um, this one uh, stays um, green, stays foggy, like the Fukamushi Sekari, for example. So, oh, pour it all over. Um, so yeah, overall I'm quite happy with this tea and um, I hope you enjoy this video and see you at the next one.